Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl Deline Francis Hamilton here with another Monday's meditation. Our scripture reading this morning is taken from Joshua 3, verse 1, and it says, And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim, and came to Jordan, he and all the children of Israel, and lodged there before the Passover. My topic this morning is find joy in your journey. Find joy in your journey. And you know, this week has been quite a remarkable week for me. I mean, not just for me, but for us as a couple, my husband and I, you know, we have so many landmarks in the month of November. And so as we reflect, you know, this topic just came to me. And let me just share with you. So on the 13th of November, 1989 my husband got his first job and so we celebrate that because if you know we're a type of people love to create excitement celebration that's also the type of person that we are i think um merriment is a part of our ministry and so that would make it 34 years since in the working environment on the 22nd of november is his birthday now do the maths i'm not making the maths it is his birthday and on the 23rd of november 2013 i got saved so i celebrated that being 10 years since i'm journeying to my purpose to my destiny and also on the 26th of this month he celebrates his rebirth day as well so we have a lot to celebrate as we we we, we in as we put joy into our journey just remembering and recapping recapping from where we are coming from and where we are now and where we ought to be and so the word journey speaks of an act of traveling it speaks of moving from one place to the next so you cannot uh be at one place and yet you say you're journeying it, it's an action word it simply means that you have to move it speaks about tra um, transfer it speaks about wandering it speaks about roaming it's an action word so it's constantly you moving from one place to the next from one level to the next and so journey consists of our uh, ups and downs and starts and stops and joy and sorrow and sweet and so and all these type of things but i want you to understand this morning that journey creates your character it gives you strength in times of weakness it allows you to be flexible to changes like when disappointment comes you can remember a scripture that says even as we talk about joshua that be uh be encouraged be courageous be not afraid because i am with you we can look at isaiah when time comes comes uh, Isaiah 61 says he give beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning praise uh in times of despair and so you know the journey is what creates the character in you that will allow you to traverse to your destiny so many of us see persons uh, at a place where we consider it to be their destiny but we don't understand the journey there's a common saying that you see the glory but you don't understand the story so don't despise your journey because that is what is going to create character in you i'm saying to you this morning to find joy in your journey i mean journey is done and i want you to understand that it's done one day at a time and so i find it fitting for the song that says one day at a time sweet jesus i mean 10 years just basically me 10 years since i've gotten saved so that would make it 300 um 3650 days and at least 3650 days because there might have been some leap years somewhere and if that's 3650 days it's simple me that that is 87,600 um, hours, which simply means that is 219,000 minutes, which simply means that is 13 million 140 seconds. And how did I do it? How could I have traversed this Christian journey? For that time there's a song that says Jesus blood is the remedy and I encourage you this morning that when you're feeling weary just remember that Jesus blood is the remedy the cross is the remedy that is what will propel you to the next level as you journey through life as you journey through your Christianity as you journey through whatever you're going through remember that Jesus blood is the remedy there's a part in the song that if you want the power you have to check him every hour if you want the spirit you have to check him every minute if you have the weapon you have to check it every second and that is how you go through 
your journey. Remember to find joy in your journey. One day at a time, a second at a time, a minute at a time. Just remember to always be prayerful. Always have the mind of God in you. So gird up the loins of your mind as you go through your journey. Realizing that your journey will create your character that will take you to your destiny. That will take you to your purpose. And you will indeed have power as you go through your journey. So as I encourage you this morning, I encourage myself to don't despise your journey but to go through the process that will create character in you that will give you strength um that will cause you to lean on jesus you know not leaning on, on our own understanding but knowing that he is the one who has designed this destiny for us and who will take us to the process of journeying so find joy in your journey this morning and i pray that you have a blessed week in jesus name amen and amen